What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This is a tutorial video on how to authorize and estimate online via a text message. We have already finished um, you know, authorizing an estimate in person We're using the tablet. Customer can sign in. Uh, this one is more challenging as you're not seeing the customer and uh, you know, if the estimate is thousands of dollars, that's when things are critical. Um, if the customer did this with his finger and he's not there, um, we need more than that to make sure that he's the one who signed it. Um, I looked at all solutions and I found out that, you know, even the IRS uses uh, the docky sign basically and the way it works, you know, they capture the AP address when the, when the, as, when the document is open, when the document is signed. But the problem with that, it costs more money and subscription and API and I can't do that. I just want to have a solution where I don't want to raise the price and just because of that feature. And so I came up with a solution where we can do the same thing. Um, it's really like, it, it's so simple to use, but uh, behind, uh, you know, the work that is, has been done behind is extremely like challenging. It's like a map. So the way it works, basically, let's just test it out while we're here. So to authorize this estimate, just click on SMS right here and then request approval. You're gonna see request estimate approval. Click on that. And let me explain what's happening right now. So you are, you basically will create a key and you and, uh, and uh, the user will have it. When you send it, he will have the key. So just you and him have the key and you just you and him can open that estimate. So let's go ahead and send it and we're gonna try to do. So once you send it, this is gonna switch into approval requested. I can click on that to check the status and it's gonna say customer has not viewed the estimate yet so which is pretty cool but technically as of right now you're not supposed to be adding anything right just waiting for the customer right here see where is requ approval requested right so we're going to open it we're going to check again nothing so let's bring the phone here and let's check our messages we have a message and let's open it right here so this is the estimate right here estimate approval the customer have two options declining or approving just by opening let's see what happened right here right let's put this on the side and let's just check on status you see it already told us like he already opened it so it's kind of cool we know if he's ready or not right and then he captured the ip address don't worry much about this ip address because just the phone the phone switches ip address just like that so anyway so let's click on approve and he needs to sign, you know, just like, again, like, like everyone else, they need to type in their name, first name and last name. And this is the approval. Click on approve. And look, the reason I show this to the customer, so the customer understand that we have documented all of this. Like, when did he, when, how, when did we send the message? When did he view it? When did he approve it? The name of the approval and the IP address. And it says on, underneath of that, upon approval, we'll proceed with the work as outlined in the estimate. And in this case, if you look, VIP Shop Management has already, um, you know, already get the message says he already approved that. So the way it works, just click on check, ask, uh, check status and just like that, look how beautiful is that. Mark has approved it and it's finished. You get the check mark right here and then click on finish. And look, all the documents that we see right here, we have them right here too. And what we do is basically we say, and we put an e-signature right here, and then the moment you click on finish, it saves that to your database. And the moment you close, it will convert it to an invoice. So if I go right here and go to view signed document, it's right there. You're supposed to, after, after like you, like you click finish, you're supposed to send it back to the customer in a text message so he can has a, have a copy too. And that's a two-way street, remember that. So that's how it works. Um, let's make another one real quick with the declined. Do something different here. And it's really quick, basically. It's just click on request SMS pro approval and then just click on send, close this. Bring this here back. And let's see if we get the message. That's the second message. I mean, obviously the customer can zoom in and see or flip the phone. You know, it's not like he cannot see what's going on. So 
Uh, you can even read the terms and make it perfectly. So that's not like, look, this is the terms right there. So, so that's not an issue for the customer where he cannot see what's going on. Let's say decline, decline, and let's go look and uh, let's move this aside. Click on approval requested, check decline, X right there, it's beautiful. And then, you know, everything obviously is automated. If you go up here, you see we are getting, uh, um, you know, the notification. He approved the first one. You will get the other notification where he declined it. He's going to say request deleted. And it's just beautiful. So um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope this will bring you so much money as it's less headache. Uh, customer, when they say yes, now they're going to be on their toes. Um, if they have... Uh, um, you know, see, a customer has declined estimate. So yeah, if they're on their toes, they're not gonna say, "Oh, I said yes and I said no." So you have documentation. But if somebody did change their mind and you haven't started on the work, obviously it's on you to cancel it, right? So, anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, enjoy it. Thanks for watching.